earlier today, somebody on the uh, Coco Discord server had some questions about what the pinout was on the connector on the bottom of the Coco 3 in order so that he can make a cable to use his RGB to HDMI adapter. Um, there was some back and forth and then we came up with this as a guide. Everything's good, fine and dandy. We've labeled each pin, we know the orientation. There was one pin, however, we could not find the function for. And so it was asked, what is it for? Uh, a couple of people went out and looked around and investigated. And someone found that in the manual, pin 10 is described as a sense pin to know so that the Coco knows when there is a CM8 monitor connected to it. Someone else went and looked at uh, the code in one of the unraveled uh, books and saw that the pin itself is never set as an input, but rather is set as an output. And so, hmm, interesting, let's start making some measurements. Um, I took out a voltmeter and saw that the pin is at 2.5 volts, never at zero. <clears throat> and I started playing around and uh, starting some programs. And under some programs, it would jump to 5 volts. Under others, it would stay at 2.5. What the heck is going on? I don't know. Um, so we started chatting and there were some theories thrown around. So I just wanted to, you know, put a little video together uh, just describing what I found. Uh, hopefully it can help somebody figure this out. <clears throat> Um, well, you can see here that pin 10 is indeed unlabeled because I don't know what it's for. If you go and look at the schematic for the Coco 3, here's pin 10. I'm sorry, here's the connector and here's pin 10. And you'll see that um, it comes from what I labeled RGB out. Um, I just called it that because I didn't know what the function of that pin was. So if we go to where it goes, it comes from, it comes from the PIA uh, IC4 pin 13 or PV3. At least we know where it goes hooked up. Um, if you look at the COCO 2 uh, schematic, you'll see that that same pin is used as a CSS signal, or a color select, I believe. <clears throat> that comes over here and goes into the VDG. Now, it also is part of uh, this artifacting circuit over here. So it looks like when this diode is, um, yeah, when it's reverse biased, I mean, this is high up here, uh, this transistor turns on it. It looks like it goes out and, and uh, enables the color burst circuitry um, or enables the MC1372 uh, it tells it to do color burst. But anyways, this is part, I'm not sure exactly what it does, but exactly, but I know that it's part of the artifacting circuitry. This 555 timer here generates uh, a signal here. So interesting that uh, Coco 2, um, that's what that pin is for. Now, did some more investigating. And I... I broke out my getting started with color basic book and then <clears throat> I went over and decided to look into the service manual for the Coco 2. On page 93 uh, there's a section about troubleshooting uh, artifacting signals or rather how to check the artifacting signals and so what it says is that you have to be in high res mode so they provide a little basic program to go into high res mode so that's what I want to show uh, the Coco running so So there's my Coco 3, I have a voltmeter. That voltmeter is connected to pin 10 and ground on the bottom of my Coco 3. And just to show you one more time where that is. So it's connected pin 10 right here and ground, which over here means my negative terminal is on pin two and my positive terminal is on pin 10. So two, and 10. All right, I've already typed in the program and you can see that 
um, I'm reading about 2.5 volts. 2.478 is essentially 2.5 volts. And I'm going to run it. Oops. When I run it, it goes to 4.92 volts, which is essentially 5 volts. I'll break it. And it goes back to 2.5 volts. Let's run it again. So that is what I found. That is the little bit of experimenting I've done. Hopefully somebody can come up with an explanation for this, that when it goes into high res mode, it goes high, that pin. Is this a leftover from the Coco two days? Uh, did it have a dual purpose? Uh, was it never implemented? The sense circuitry never implemented. Um, let's see if somebody can figure this out.